him and his dummy spit. Here she comes, the crane day. And you can be competitive. I mean, you've really stood up for yourself in the house, and I really admired you in the house when, when you were nominated, saying, "What can I do to improve myself? Mm. You know, how can I change things in there?" But it's your normal life. You live by yourself. Yes. And you have a sister, but you don't. When you were growing up, did you live with boys of any no. sort? No. So this <laughs> was a whole new world. Definitely. And how would you describe that world? Um, well. Living with um, 13 other people for once, and they're all completely outgoing, overly confident, and uh, just wanting to prove themselves was extremely difficult because I felt like I had to step back. Yeah, so you um, felt you couldn't be who you are. Yeah, I felt like I just couldn't be myself. And my best friend Ali and I, we we can talk about anything and we can be completely, you know, ourselves. But with these other people, they're just over dominant in that sort of area, and. Um, I have um, fairly high morals when it comes to drugs and drink driving and things like that. And uh, a lot of the housemates talked about things like that, which I don't agree with. So that sort of cut me off from the rest so of them. You, so you couldn't express who you were. And then mm. you did find an ally briefly yeah. in the Logans. Mm -hmm. Well, that was an interesting life scenario, wasn't it? <laughs> now, now, do you know to this day which one you were attracted to? Well... I think I, th <laughs> I think it was David. You think? Isn't that bizarre? Let's have a look at some footage, oh, no. and we'll see if we, it's all right. We'll see if we can recognise him. Just the chemistry. Who is the best-looking housemate? Um, I'd say it, probably Gianna. You want me to play with your ball? Play with mate. Yeah, good size. Good size. <laughs> <laughs> Housemate, would you most like to kiss? Probably Logan. It's Logan, it's gorgeous. I've got to touch it. And what comes after a kiss? No. Oh no. You got me in there. Do you like him? Yeah, I do, but. <laughs> Slow. Yeah. I prefer to get to know people. Okay. Now, what happened next was completely bizarre because that really looked reciprocated. Mm. It's not like you were pushing yourself. No, he him. came to me. He came to you. <laughs> and then the twins were revealed. Mm. And what happened? I don't know. He just turned to a completely different person. Completely. Well, literally. But I think... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> of course, literally. <laughs> but I have to say, I mean, every girl here has been in the situation where for some reason a guy suddenly changes. There was a legitimate reason here because, as we said, he was a twin. Yeah. But why did that mean he had to stop being affectionate towards you? I don't know. Um, <clears throat> the thing is... Um, I liked him because it was good companionship, just someone to give me a cuddle because I'm very affectionate and, and um, it was sort of someone that gave me like companionship in the house, someone that was going to be stable and um, all of a sudden it changed and I have no idea why. I still don't even know today. And, and did you ever feel like you could say to him, hello, what's going on here? Not after, no. I mean, we did have a quick chat and he just said to me, look, um, you know, you're a nice girl, but I'm not interested in, like, cuddling or kissing or anything like that. I was like, OK, no problem. But he was <laughs> interested in it. Is this because the whole country's watching that you actually couldn't ask any more questions? No, I, I just didn't have anything really else to say because we didn't really talk until a couple of days after that. And he said the reason why is because everyone was making too much of a big deal about it and he didn't want to approach me about it. Well, let's have a look because I found it heartbreaking to watch. Let's have a look. Housemates make welcome Logan, Logan David, and Logan Greg. A little shocked, to be honest. And a little silly. 
I'm sure as you have noticed that one of the Logans and I were sort of getting closer and I guess I'm just a little confused at what's been happening sort of between me and both of them. All I needed was Chocolate? for David to come up and give me a cuddle. That's all I wanted. Can you give me a cuddle? Give me a cuddle, yeah? Yeah. I know I'm going to hate you. Thank you. That's better. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, listen, the reason why I haven't come and spoke to you the next day is because you don't want it to be a hype up. Just enjoy your time in the house and see what happens. You know where you're going one night? See what happens. That's the one. I so want to kiss Dave tonight. I'm just after a kiss and yeah, a cuddle. You can give me a kiss and a cuddle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but the only thing is I'm a bit worried about rejection, though. You've ignored me since you found out I was, you were a twin. <laughs> I understand that you want to have a cuddle and a kiss. I know the way you feel, but no, I don't think I do. Take it offended by it. Oh my god, a nurse outfit! <laughs> I think that that clearly shows that boys are revolting. Now, I just want to ask you, I, I know that you said that you felt embarrassed. Do you think that that put you a step back in terms of asserting who you are, the fact that you felt a bit foolish and didn't know who to trust? Yeah, completely. So that was a difficult thing to experience, because mm. otherwise you could just enjoy the fact that it was twins in the house. Yeah, wouldn't have bothered me. Yeah, and, and you're a bit of a loner anyway. Now, obviously, I mean, we're going to go to a break after this. But... <laughs> loner, thanks. <laughs> Well, I meant that in a, I meant that in a special way. Oh, oh, special <laughs> way. No, I mean you yourself said, you know, yeah. you move aside from. I live Let's have a look, and you'll see that clearly what I've just said is a positive thing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I duck off and do things on my own sometimes, but that's just because I'm so used to living on my own. I don't need to be around people 24 hours a day. You can be the nicest girl in the world and everyone could hate you. Oh, which happens to me all the time. It's not that you verbally say something, but I can see the looks on your faces. Like, and yes, it makes me uncomfortable, but I'm still going to be myself and do what I want. But you're shy, Bonnie. Put your tits out and do what you want. But I don't like just you. put you, my tits out. You do. Out. I might not necessarily like all these people here, but, you know, I'll still show them, you know, I'll still treat them, you know, with courtesy and respect. It's still like I'm not important. Important. <laughs> but she's been alone all day. Like she feels like you are just not interested. You don't have to like her, but you don't have to sit in front of a whole other crowd of people and say you don't. I feel I feel angry in a respect that you know these people really don't know me. They don't know it what I'm like or what I do and they just, you know, they make quick judgments. That, that was sad. I thought it was going to be uplifting. How do you feel when you look at that? Like knowing that people were saying, well, I mean, Angela was pretty harsh when she was calling you names and mm. like, how did you deal with that? Well, I didn't know until then, but <laughs> um, I don't know. I just... I look at it that, you know, I'm happy with myself. I don't need to be with other people and try and put them down to make myself feel better. So I just know that I've got high standards and high morals, and as long as I stick by that, I'm happy with everything. Good on you. <laughs> well, Gianna will be with us after the break, but stay tuned because after that, we'll not only be asking Gianna about the meaning of, of life, we do have some surprise guests, and we also take a peek at the replacement housemates. How many will there be? Are they girls or are they boys? Or in true Big Brother tradition, are they lady boys?